Gobert is an all-time great defender. Why do we slander him? I just don't think, you know, all-time. Oh, here comes agree. Phoenix plays. I don't agree with all-time, bro. Phoenix. I think he's an all-time great rim protector, but I think defense is a little bit more than just rim protector. How is he not an all-time great defender at this point, Dime? I Let's say he's I, top 80. I don't 80. even understand Dime's logic with that one. Like to me, to me, crazy. my my biggest my biggest sign of how good you are at defense is if you can fucking guard one on one, no help defense at the park. Gobert is getting bitched by a bunch of great centers all time. Dime. Facts, and he's not, Dime. and he gets lucky he doesn't play in an era with them. Talking Dime. about he's he's lucky he's in the church. No, he would have been playing in Shaq in the two thousand, and he would have gotten Darian. thrown into the rim. Darian, Darian, listen to me for a second, <laughs> please. Got that the government. <laughs> the government. <laughs> Darn. Listen, listen to me. How many guys can you count on your one hand right now? One hand <laughs> that could sit in a chair and defend right now. That you're pleased with. That you that you find plenty. Plenty? I'm, I'm just saying mm, we're not we're not using all the goes. words all time uh -huh. though. We're not uh -huh. using the words all time though. That's there we Dime I'm not dropper. calling Andrew Wiggins an all-time defender, even though I think he's one of the best in the league right now. Or Mikael right Bridges. Now? Like I think all time. Andrew is Wiggins has doesn't have not one speck of a defensive player of the year, my brother. Yeah, but see, then ask me how many fucks I give about the media and their awards. You know, uh -huh. that's not here we I go. did not. Oh, I did not. Dime, I did you Gen Z. Anthony Davis. <laughs> this is where he goes Gen Z, please. We got him. That's not yeah, Gen we got Z. him. We got him. With that Gen Z talk. Talk. Anthony, that's I don't care. We got him. I don't care. I think <laughs> like there's 10 centers I might take over Gobert defensively all time straight up. 10? Might be. Hold on. Ho hold on. Ho hold on. Hold on. Defensively? Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me cook. Let me cook real fast, baby. Let me cook. Are you taking Gobert over the De Dikembe Mutombo? No. Are you taking Gobert over Alonzo Mourning? No. Okay. These guys are, are you, these guys you're naming like a lot. These are freaking dogs, dude. People are intimidated by them. As Anthony Edwards said before he even got him on his team, ain't no one scared of no go bear. But I'm saying he does intimidate at the rim. But I'm just saying, like, from a from a mental perspective. Let like, me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Defensively, are you taking Rudy Gobert or Dwight Howard? That's a good one. Well, who are you guys taking? I'm actually curious. Dwight Howard, stop. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take Dwight I, Howard too. I, I would probably take Dwight Howard because of I think they're both similar similar rim protectors. I think Dwight off the ball um probably defends more positions. But the thing about it for Dwight with me is that how demonstrative he was on the defensive end. Yeah. Um, um Gobert is gonna block your shot, but Gobert's gonna block your shot, Don. And at how tall are you, Don? Like five eight, five eight. So at five eight, you go to the rim and get your shot blocked by Gobert. I promise you, you'll go back to the rim again if you have a, if you have a, another lane to the rim. Certain guys would think twice about going back to the rim with Dwight Howard defending the rim. Same thing with Dikembe. You know what I'm saying? Are Let we, me ask you this: Are we Let going for? This. Are we going back? And like, how far are we going back? Because there's a lot of great defenders in the eras that you guys don't like, but they were great centers defensively. Who Mark, do you want Mark, to e Mark Eaton probably was a better defender than he was. If you put I don't know about that. Gobert, my in. Gobert for all the shit people give him with this. I haven't seen Mark Eaton play enough, but for no, all the Mark Eaton was for his. I, I know Bill Russell's a better up, defender man. than him. That doesn't have to be discussed, does it? Defensively? I got a special one. No, not, I got a special one for y'all. I got Nate a special Thurman. one for y'all. Fabian, Dom, I got a special one for y'all. Who do you want more? And we're talking defensively. Who do you want more, Rudy Gobert or Marcus Camby? I'll take Gobert. I love, shout out to my UMass brother, though, Marcus Camby. I'm taking Gobert. Okay. It, yeah, because they had them a team. Oh, just defensively. You may have named, but if you throw Nate Thurman, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain in there, though, you might have 10. And we didn't even have to say Akeem. You might have 10 right there. And David Akeem Robinson won a well. defensive play of the year award as well. D Rob ask, was. I'm going to ask you guys. You watched him play live. Who's better defensively, Robinson or, or Gobert? Robinson. That's I'm going to just go okay, Robinson. Not, just, yeah. I'm going to go I'm gonna go David Robinson just because of. And how, I'll take Ben Wallace, too. How fast he was um from block to block and from like you know that drill that you do i don't know if y'all ever seen the drill where you are in the paint and depending on where the, what side of the ball goes to you gotta hit the uh the corner the corner three so like the line so like 
it's a defensive drill. So if the ball gets swung to the right side, you gotta as a, as the guy playing in the paint, you gotta get to the right wing and and hit and it's like suicides. But I was I was watching the um, David Robinson do that drill, and I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like that shit was amazing to see a dude at that size be able to laterally move and then get back into the paint too, Don. That's the wild part. Like mm. he was from the paint out to the three point to the short corner three and like less than a half or uh, one and a half steps. Like that's, it was, it was, I got to find the clip. It was insane. It was insane. So I don't think Gobert is that fast on his feet like that. So and I he think said, personality has Ben Wallace role, but Ben Wallace had to guard in the post a lot more, man. That's the thing that you're not giving think, him credit for because it's hard to see. Cause I know you started watching basketball recently and you haven't seen like when there was really great post players in the league, like multiple of them, but I'm, but then no, no, that's just brutal honesty though. Cause okay. I think it's true. I think personality has a lot to do with it too. That's why I like what Flea said with uh, Dwight Howard Agreed. was demonstrative because he, he he there was an intimidating tone even though I used to hate him slapping the ball into the stands there was like I'm, I think I just saw a couple of interviews I forgot who said it when they were on his team like yo make LeBron and D Wade funnel them to me and make me block their shots they're not gonna come back here throughout for the second half and I was like Dwight Howard said that wow 